What's going on guys? Sam back here with a brand new video. And last video I did camera basics. In this video we're gonna be doing lens basics. Specifically we're going over prime lenses versus zoom lenses. We're gonna be going over what each type of lens is, what are their benefits, what are their drawbacks, and what kind of looks they can produce. And by the end of the video you'll probably know which type of lens you'll wanna invest in. If you're new around here, I am a photographer and videographer here on YouTube and Instagram. So if you like what I do, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram too. Without any further ado, let's get into Lens Basics. So up first is zoom lenses. Now zoom lenses can cover a wide range of focal lengths. And speaking of focal lengths, that's basically just a measure of how wide or how tight your image is. So the smaller number focal length, for example, 16 millimeters is gonna be a wider angle. And once you start zooming into a tighter focal length, that will be a higher number like 85 millimeters and up. I explain that a little bit more in camera basics. Again, I'm gonna plug that video in the top right. Right there? Yeah. Zoom lenses are particularly good for run and gun shooting and when you're just trying to look for convenience because one lens can basically do the jobs of many lenses. You can just leave that one lens on and you don't have to change it for a good period of time. Zoom lenses also tend to have a higher minimum aperture than prime lenses. For example, my 50 millimeter prime lens is an f1.8 and the zoom lens that I'm shooting on right now, which is a kit lens, I hate it. I'm gonna keep saying that for all my videos, I need to upgrade, but it's an f3.5 to 5.6. It doesn't go very low in aperture, and that means you're not gonna get the best depth of field, and you're not gonna get the best low light performance out of zoom lenses. With zoom lenses, you have a lot of moving parts, so it's kind of harder to have a lower minimum aperture. I believe the lowest minimum aperture on a zoom lens is like 1.8. I'm not sure, that's still impressive, um, but on primes, I feel like the lowest I've seen ever is like 0.9 or something crazy like that. Zoom lenses are also generally a little bit more expensive and they're also generally bigger and heavier than prime lenses. But if you're gonna use a zoom lens on something like a gimbal, it's a lot easier because of what I said before. It's just a lot more convenient. You can just balance the one lens. You don't have to take it off and rebalance the gimbal to get multiple looks from different lenses. You can just use the one lens and get different focal lengths on it. And speaking of using zoom lenses on gimbals, make sure when you balance it on your gimbal, you are balancing it in the middle of its focal lengths. So with the Sony 16 to 35, for example, which I worked with before, you basically would balance it around 24 millimeters. That's because the little extension piece on the zoom lens is like halfway there. So you're gonna get the best uh, balance on your gimbal if you do that. All right, so now on to prime lenses which are basically just one fixed focal length, but they do that one focal length really well. And unlike zoom lenses, they have lower minimum apertures for better depth of field and low light performance. Prime lenses are also generally sharper because there's like less moving parts in the lens like there is in a zoom lens. And also prime lenses are generally cheaper and generally smaller and lighter. Also something that people don't really think about is that when you're shooting with prime lenses, you're kind of forced to move around and get more creative angles rather than having a zoom lens. You're just kind of standing in one spot and just kind of zooming in to get those different shots rather than moving around and get more creative options. Take me to your heart. All right, so you probably wanna know which lens I think you should buy. And that's not exactly a straightforward answer. It really depends on what you're shooting. For me, zoom lenses are better at wide focal lengths, typically when depth of field isn't as noticeable. And they're also really good for when you're doing run and gun shooting or you're shooting fast moving subjects like wildlife or sports or something like that. Prime lenses are usually good for those detail shots when you're trying to use tight focal lengths. And also, they just produce some really high quality shots in general with a nice depth of field. Personally, my dream lens setup would be a 16 to 35, a 50 millimeter, 
and a 70 to 200. That's kind of what I'm working towards at the moment. If you're looking for mainly zoom lenses, my three main recommendations would be a 16 to 35 for your wide coverage, 24 to 70 for all your mid coverage, and a 70 to 200 for your tight coverage. And these lens focal lengths are also really popular with a lot of the native uh, camera brands. So Sony makes all three of those lenses. Canon makes all three of those lenses too. You really can't go wrong with any three of those zoom lenses. If you're looking for prime lenses, I would go for something like a 35 millimeter, a 50 millimeter, or an 85 millimeter. Again, those are also really popular among the native camera brands. So if you're shooting on Sony, Sony makes those, and Canon also makes those to my knowledge but there's plenty of different prime options you can go for. But again, it really depends on what you're shooting. So if you're gonna ask me what lens you should buy in the comment section below, I'm just not gonna answer you. You just need to decide for yourself what works for you. <laughs> All right, that's it for me for this lens basics video. Um, make sure you guys comment down below if you found this helpful and just let me know what your favorite lens is. I'm curious to see what you think. And also, while you're down there in the comments, here's the third little prompt for you. Tell me what kind of tutorials you want to see because I am making these videos for you guys so you can start learning some basic video and photography stuff. I already got some ideas, but I'm curious to see what you guys want to learn. Also, I'm gonna plug myself again. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, subscribe to me here on YouTube. Also, thank you to Nick behind the camera and subscribe to his YouTube and follow him on his Instagram. Links will be in the description below. And yeah, that all said and done. See you guys later. Bye.